well welcome back to shed tour it's day three guys I'm gonna walk through this big burn looking for elk sheds hopefully we can get into some should be a good area I've seen some tracks already but today is gonna be the first day that we're out for a full day hike so the horn hunter pack is loaded with snacks and water <laughs> and I'm already getting my butt kicked I just got started but we're gonna find some sheds, so stick with me. We'll be cruising in and out of these burns like this. It's hard to spot the browns in this type of terrain. Here we go. We're on the board. I'm out of shape, but just stumbled on the first elk shed of the day. Nice little white. Here we go. Look at this stuff, guys. No wonder it's so hard to find them. In this burn, they're buried. That's cool. Little fiver. We'll add it to the stack. Nice. Well, this is how close I got to that thing before I saw it. Dang, guys, these things just blend in. Old, old chalk raghorn. But hey, it's another one. One of these times we'll hit a ridge with some fresh track and some browns, but not yet. And we're getting our butts kicked. So I just topped over that ridge behind me. It was so windy on the other side. I'm gonna post up right here, have some lunch, get some mountain ops. Haven't drinking anything all day. Haven't stopped to do any of that yet. So I'm gonna stop here, get lunch and, and just glass. I can see across the way pretty good. Maybe, just maybe, maybe we can glass up a shed. But for now, we eat lunch. Welcome. Oh, I'm out of focus. Hello. Come on, Cannon. There we go. Welcome to camp. Here we are. Jumping jack set up. Of course, the Eddie cooler, the camp chef station, and tonight we've got potatoes, onions, and peppers in there. Then we're going to do some elk burgers. So this is Bridget's elk from our Utah hunt together this last season. That's her open bull elk, and it's it's good. It was just kind of a small bull. That meat's been pretty good, don't you think? What are you talking about? Small. I mean, it had some good mass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's camp. So we got the big propane with the big buddy sleeping bag in there. And our fire, unfortunately, went out. So, yeah, how beautiful is this place? The wind has calmed down, which is nice. We got camp set up. We got the Honda and dinner we're gonna get after it tomorrow early i think we're gonna meet up i think we'll wake up around six and head on the hill around seven seven thirty and try to do an all day or in hopes to find some elk sheds like we did last year last year started out slow and it ended up pretty good so this year about the same started off slow so far and with a little work and scouting maybe we can find the elk and find some browns what do you think? Yeah. Elk burger. So it cooked. Looks pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. You better get a couple of those. The little guy. That's enough. All right, my turn. All right, there we have it. Dinner is served. Elk hamburger. Avocado. The potatoes. It's time to grub. Time to grub. Whew. Here we go. We got the buddy heater going. Cranking the heat. Still in Bridget's idea. Gonna have some slumber. I've used it at home, but I've never really thought about taking it on the mountain. Not a bad idea, babe. Figured it'd be so cold when camping, it's good to have something that helps you sleep. Alright, put the camp chef striker. That will be... Uh, that will be there to boil some water and get some oatmeal with peanut butter tomorrow. 
So yeah, let's try some place. I like it mixing good, you know. I'm not a huge fan of hot drinks, especially when they're so hot they burn your mouth. I don't know how people drink coffee so hot. I'm gonna let it cool and then we're gonna get some slumber and then go to bed. That's it for day three. Another tough day, but uh, I feel like we'll narrow it down over the next few days. We'll get some sheds. Good morning, guys. It's day number four of the shed tour. We have made some adjustments. We've come up into much higher elevation in hopes to find more fresh bull elk tracks because where we were yesterday just wasn't producing. Didn't seem like a lot of elk were hanging out at that elevation. So we're up here kind of in the trees. Figured we'd start high and slowly work our way down the canyon. Just see if we can figure out where some of these bulls have shed. It's gonna be a nice sunny day. So that's a plus. Yesterday was windy, which really kept me from glassing and sitting on ridges and doing a lot of glassing, which I love. Usually pays off. So today I'll be doing a lot of glassing. There we go, some elk tracks in the snow. Man, these elk must be some athletes walking through this junk. You're just hopping, hopping logs constantly. Oh, there hasn't been a ton of elk in here, but there's a few. Pretty mellow morning. I've got no sheds. I think Willie found one nice one. He said he found a good brown. Laying in the wide open. Nice brown. Just still looking for that one ridge that's really been where they've really been living. And this, there's definitely been elk in here, but not a ton. It is about time, guys. We have been working hard. This was kind of like our last ditch effort to hit this ridge right here on the way down to the truck. And I had to climb a elevation. I finally got into some elk track and I just found my first elk shed of the day and it looks like to be a brown one. Let me show you, it's up there. Let's see, see the G1 and G2 right there? There it is. Let's go check that out. Hopefully we can find the other side up here. Stumpy heavy thing. Holy cow. Looks like a little, short little five point. Look at that, we got some fresh beds here finally getting in the fresh elk sign and we got a brown that's awesome looks like he could have been bedded right there maybe bedded right there oh that's sweet guys finally look at the blood it's got blood on it man i can still smell the elk right here in these beds figured i better film this because it might be the only one of the day who knows <laughs> Just a short, stubby five, but his main beams broke, so hard to say what he would have been after that. Oh, they're just so dark up here. It's got some really cool blood on the base still. Looks to be pretty dang fresh. Sweet. Let's go get some more. Time to get some water. Whew. Finally got one. This deserves a break. This is the Mountain Ops Ignite Green Apple. Probably my favorite flavor. Look at the blood. Probably hasn't been there for very long. Some of the bulls are still packing, but the bigger ones have all mostly shed. Well, I decided to do some glassing and it paid off. I just glassed a really nice white elk shed across this little drainage. But I'm not sure if I want to cross it. Hopefully you guys run into a few more. <laughs> if we can hit 10 today, that'd be a pretty good day. That's Willie. I don't know if I want to cross this draw yet. I think I might want to hit this side a little more, but the elk shed is straight across this little drainage. It's a nice one. It's a right side, and it's white. So who knows? Maybe the other side's somewhere over there close. I got a little too excited. Wanted to come check out this shed. So I just billy-goated over here. Now I can't find the dang thing. 
when you only find two sheds, it's kind of hard to leave leave one behind. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's the other side. Yes, this is why I came over here. I was hoping I'd find the other side. Yes. Okay, so there's the one I did not glass. So where's the one I glass? All right, so here's the left side. Oh, he's sweet. What a sweet bull. Oh, holy crap. Oh, there's the other side. That's the one I glassed right there. Here's the other side. <laughs> this is why I decided to come over here because they're side by side set. Holy smokes, that's a big bull. This is the bull I found last year, I think. These are his browns and I walked right by him last year brown. If that's the same bull. All I could see guys, when I glass this from over there, that's all I could see. Look like a nice antler. And check this out, the other side, right there. <laughs> yes, all that hiking paid off all day. That's crazy that these were laying here last year and I literally walked down this ridge a couple times, but that's why you just, you just don't see the dang things when they're brown. Look at that thing tucked up there. Holy smokes. God, he's so cool. Look at that left side. That makes the entire trip worth it right there. That one set makes the entire trip. As bad as I want to pick these suckers up, I'm going to leave them. Ditch the backpack so I can get moving through here faster. Leave the horns behind. That behind. Just take some water in the frame. That's what I like about this backpack, is you can take take these off and move them. <laughs> this has gotta be one of the craziest places I've ever found an elk shed. There was some pretty good track in a bed right here. So I was just following this old trail through this thick brush. And look at this. Roll. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode number two of the 2018 shed tour. I hate to cut the video off right there where I did, but because some of the days are better than others and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to release each day in each video. So I'm going to cut the video off right there, but I really, really, really want you to come back tomorrow so you can check out episode number three, where not only do I find what, what was cool at the very end of that video, I go back and I actually get to put those big set in my hand so you guys can see them together. I really appreciate you watching. I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I know you're going to enjoy tomorrow's video. So if you haven't already guys, please subscribe. Just go ahead and hit this button right here in the middle. And then if you wanna watch more shed hunting videos, maybe episode one, which is right here. And then one of my favorite videos from last year's shed tour right here, just click the link right there below. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And good luck to anybody who's out there shed hunting.